As a good friend of the United States, I believe Europe has a duty to be clear, respectful and clear whenever a disagreement arises, especially when it relates to our fundamental values. And we certainly disagree with the executive order issued by President of the United States on February 27th, as many in the US seem to disagree too. The US Department of State has clarified yesterday that the citizens of the European Union will not be affected by the ban, even if they hold dual citizenship in one of the seven countries listed in the executive order. We welcome this clarification, but let me be absolutely clear, this does not change our overall assessment about the executive order. No one, no one can be deprived of his or her own rights because of their place of birth, their religion, or their ethnicity. This is written in our constitutions, both in Europe and in America. This is who we are, this is our identity, this is something we cannot forget. The European Union will not turn back anyone who has the right to international protection. This is where we stand, this is where we we'll continue to stand. It would not be moral, it would not be just, it would not be legal, and it would not be in our interest. Because this kind of measure has the potential to increase tensions and mistrust among people, among peoples, and nations. When I say among people, I also mean among people in our own societies. And I'm worried by the trends we're seeing inside the American societies in these days. And that's why, with a lot of respect, I invited the President of the United States to pay attention to what is happening in his own country. 